bless the name of the Lord. God be praised. Hallelujah. How y'all doing tonight? Y'all good? Yes, sir. It's so good to see you. It's so good yes, to see you on tonight. I want you to open your Bibles to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6. As you're turning there in my private time with God in the ocean, I was reading the book of Ephesians and looking at Ephesians chapter 6. And in my reading in Ephesians chapter 6, I made a discovery. I made a discovery as I was reading chapter 6. In my discovery, uh, reading Ephesians chapter 6, I was um, reminded of something. Reminded of the fact that as I was um, preaching a series on the, um, the armor of God, um, we were walking through that, and I left it incomplete. Uh, for those of you who remember, I got got down um, to the last two in the year, uh, it came to a close, and uh, I said some. Somewhere down the line, I'm gonna have to come back to it because it was the new year and I had to cast vision and had a whole other preaching schedule and I had to move on from it. But believe it or not, that was in 2022. Ooh. It was I 2022. Feel. It was 2022. Oh, 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 and uh, I said, Lord have mercy, I'm reading through this. I said, Well, man, I gotta, I gotta do those last two. Um, and so I, I said, I, I want to do that. Here's the problem. It's been since 2022. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got good numbers. Yeah, you got good numbers. And so I said, wow. Uh, so I just couldn't jump into the helmet of salvation uh, without giving the backdrop because we have some people who weren't even members in 2022. I, I, I know I got some, I see a couple of y'all over here, amen. And so like, I just can't die in, uh, just cause you was in, amen. And so I need to backtrack, track, and so I need to do uh, somewhat of a review to, to move forward. Uh, and since you slept since 2022, I think that'd be good for you too. Amen, somebody. Amen. Uh, amen. amen. And so I want to look at this, Ephesians 6, um, beginning with verse 10, verse 10, uh, Ephesians 6, beginning with verse 10, here's what it says, it says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, and spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, of all taking the shield of faith, that you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. That's far enough. And so I, I simply just want to talk about the whole armor of God. I just want to just, just kind of just, just give a broad brush look at the whole armor of God. It was Warren Wisby who said that the Christian life is not a playground. It is a battlefield. If you've been on this Christian journey any amount of time and you take your walk with the Lord seriously, if you are, if you have embraced your identity in Christ and you are truly trying to walk by faith and not by sight, you have discovered that the closer you get to the Lord, the more you experience attacks yeah. on your life. As a matter of fact, 
when it comes to demonic attack, it's not just that it's a possibility, church, it is a certainty. All of us are going to experience this, and that's why Paul is actually addressing this, because in the structure of this book, he talks about our walk with Christ, or rather our wealth in Christ, to our walk with Christ, to help us understand the warfare, work warfare that we will experience, because doing right does not 